It's news time. Information is power. Be current. The news headline. Kanu kisses a baby in court before trial resumes. The news in full. Yesterday was actually uh, a day that Kanu, you know, the Kanu was, uh, you know, uh, arraigned again in the court for another trial entirely, of which Mazin Amdekanu uh, was seen, you know, kissing a little baby before uh, he actually resumed at the uh, at the uh, before he resumed at the trial, where in Amdekanu was actually being accused of uh, terrorism charges of fre another fresh fifteen terrorism charges was actually laid against him and. It took some time before Mazin Amdekanu was actually brought to the court uh, while they were waiting for him, you know, obviously because there are some orders that the DSS had actually given to the DSS about the condition, the health condition of Mazin Amdekanu, that he should be allowed to practice his faith, he should be allowed to change his clothes, he should be given enough comfortability and are allowed to, you know, walk around and exercise uh, freely. However, when Kanu came to court on that Wednesday, he was seen to be in the same clothes that Justice Binta Inyako had earlier told the DSS that she does not want to see uh, in the Kanu in that same clothes because it was becoming off-white already. And then, immediately Kanu arri arrived, he was seen kissing a young baby, uh, a, a little baby, and then, then the DSS were able to say that they offered him a new mattresses, uh, an orthopedic one for that matter, and also that they gave him pillows and blankets, but that Mazen Amdekanu insisted on putting on that clothes, of which his lead counsel, the new one, Mike Ozekome, actually said, you know, a senior advocate of Nigeria, actually said that the reason why the clothes was of such was because they were unable to pass the clothes to Mazen Amdekanu, and that was just because it was not yet their visiting hours for them to meet with Mazen and the Kanu. Delivering judgment yesterday in the court, the judge condemned the invasion of Kanu's family house by the military and described this as notorious and brazen. Justice Aya, however, struck out Kanu's prayer to declare his repatriation from Kenya and their continued detention by DSS as illegal. The judge instead suggested to the authorities to explore political alternative in resolving the issues of his extradition, detention and trial. Reacting to the judgment, the Nigerian army says it is studied the decision to know the next line of action and counsel to the army, Tori, reportedly said that the military would respond appropriately to the court judgment that entitled it for violating the fundamental human rights of Kanu after studying the judgment. At the same time, the High Public Leader in Abuja yesterday asked the Federal High Court Abuja to discharge and acquit him of the 15 count criminal charges which the federal government preferred against him. Kanu had rejected the charges during his arraignment and court yesterday, arguing that they were defective and have no force of law. Besides the alleged effectiveness of the charges, he said that the offences brought against him were committed in the United Kingdom outside the shores of Nigeria and pleaded not guilty to the charges. Shortly after taking his plea, counsel to the federal government, Shwai Maga Jilabaron, told the trial judge, Beta Iyanko, that he was ready to try the defendant. He informed the court that two of his witnesses were present to testify in the case and that some exhibits were brought to court to establish terrorism charges against Kanu. Labaron cited Section 396 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, ACJA 2015, which stipulated that trial should begin after arraignment and while objection on any issue could be taken at any time along with the substantive matters. But Kanu's lead counsel, Michael Zekume san, objected to the commencement of the trial, adding that his client had filed two motions on notice on the validity of charges and a bill application. Zekume said that the two motions were fundamental because one of them challenged the competence of the charges and should first be resolved, adding that Kanu desired to be discharged and acquitted without standing trial because the charges were defective. He argued that the second motion which sought fresh bill for Kanu was filed on Tuesday, January 18, 2022, served on the prosecution on Wednesday, January 19, and therefore not ripe for hearing. In a ruling, Justice Inyako agreed with Ozekome to first determine the motion challenging the validity of charges and fixed February 16, 2022, for the parties to return to court and adopt their processes for and against the motion at 12 noon. However, Kanu was returned to the Department of State Services DSS detention facility 
until his request for bail is resolved. He was provided with orthopedic mattress, pillows, and blankets, among others, in compliance with the court's order. Meanwhile, Kanu Special Counsel Aloy Ejimako, in the reaction to the judgment of Abia High Court, said that the president should obey the court's decision on exploring political solution and prove that he indeed regards the judiciary as said in an interview on January 5th, 2022. He said, I am pleased with the judgment, especially as it diminished the vested notion that an Americano John Bill in 2017. He directed by the judge to the federal government to pursue path of political solution, which can is also in good order. Going forward, I see the judgment having significant impact on Abuja case. I have no doubt that the federal government will implement the judgment. My confidence comes with the uh, recent pronouncement from the president that he will respect whatever the judiciary decides in the matter of Inamdekan. And now that the court had actually, you know, advised, you know, after awarding one billion era against the Nigerian army and for Inamdekan, you know, for uh, illegal, unlawful and unconstitutional infringement of its fundamental rights, you know, uh, to life, dignity, and of his person, and also his personal liberty and fair hearing as guaranteed under the Nigerian Constitution and African Charter of Human and People's Rights. You know, uh, only the, the lawyer of Martin Avicano had actually filed again that the court in Abbey uh, stage should actually, uh, you know, uh, strike, uh, uh, should, should actually condemn, you know, the expulsion from, uh, of, uh, of Martin Avicano from Kenya back to Nigeria by the Nigerian government and, and its consequent, you know, detention and prosecution in a, in a suit, you know, marked FHCABJCR 3-3-2015, saying that the court should actually, you know, uh, it, it should, it should, it should, it should actually, uh, you know, agree that it was illegal, unlawful, and constitutional infringement of its fundamental right to be expatriated from Kenya back to Nigeria. But then uh, the court actually, you know, apart from uh, awarding one billion era, you know, uh, which was supposed to be five billion era as filed by the uh, by the council to Mazin Amdekan, you know, the judge, the judge, uh, judge, which is Justice Aya, however, struck out the prayers, you know, to declare that the repatriation from Kenya uh, and uh, you know uh, and uh, the, uh, you know and uh, you know the way the they treated Mazin Amdekan outside the country was illegal. Since that instead of doing that, that uh, is, the judge suggested that they should, you know, uh, find a way to explore alternative uh, political uh, solution in resolving the issues of his extradition, detention, and trial. And we know that uh, for the fact that the president also said at the point in time that he respects the judiciary and that political solution may be possible as well to, you know, the the lead counsel, the special counsel to Mazin Abdekanu, which is Aloy Jibako, actually said that yes. That he would advise President Muhammad Buhari to also remember his promise to respect the judiciary and do as said.